Virtual reality offers several new opportunities over traditional visual analytic workspaces, such as the potential for greater engagement, improved spatial reasoning, and a limitless working area. We present DataHub, a novel visualization system that enables users to spatially lay out their data analysis steps in the virtual environment. By doing so, we can leverage our spatial skills to help users explore and understand multidimensional datasets. Let's load up a dataset of COVID-19 and jump into VR. We start off in a vast empty environment with a root data panel in the center. Each point in our root data panel represents 50 aggregate reports of an infection, recovery, or death from the pandemic. To begin, we can transform our root data panel by branching out from it. This creates a filter, which takes as input our root data panel and outputs a transformation on it. A filter is composed of actions on the left and data attributes on the right, which are used as inputs to the actions. Let's distribute by day to visualize the cases over time. The pandemic doesn't seem to be getting any better. To get a sense of what we're working with, Let's distribute by the longitude and latitude, and visualize the density at different regions. It seems like US and Brazil are faring the worst, but I wonder how the situation has evolved over time. So, I'll group by the day. Points in the same bit of days are assigned a common color. I can chain together another filter by branching out from this one. My output will now be the composition of these two filters. Here I'll distribute by longitude and latitude. But the color of the point, or which day it occurred, is difficult to make out because there's so much overlap. Let's go back to the previous filter. Here, we can split up the groups such that each one will have its own data panel. And now it is much easier to make out the trend over time. There are a lot of output data panels and viewing them horizontally is not comfortable because the ones at the very end are far away from me. I can change my layout to be circular so that each output is uniform distance away from me. And now it is much easier to see the trend over time. I'm happy with this visualization, but looking at it, I wonder how individual countries are handling the pandemic. So let's explore in a different direction from our root data panel. Here I'll give each country its own data panel and lay out the panels vertically, meaning that each country will be on a separate floor. To navigate to one of these countries, I can tap on it in the world in miniature view in front of me. Let's, for instance, take a closer look at Russia. This brings up an elevator, which comfortably navigates me to, in this case, the fourth floor. Here, I'm curious how the death and recovery ratios are faring every month or so. Interestingly, there are relatively few deaths and it also seems like the number of infections have halved compared to the previous month. Let's see how the situation looks back in US. To do so, I'll copy our filters and paste them on the first floor. Overall, it doesn't seem like there's much improvement between the months. The ratio of deaths is also much higher compared to Russia. Although, it does seem like there were relatively few deaths in the past month. I can also see my explorations so far by bringing up a mini-map. I want to take a further look at how it all started. Earlier, I created a data panel containing the first several days. So, let's travel to it. And here, I can continue to spatially analyze and further explore my dataset. DataHub provides a glimpse into future virtual reality interfaces that may utilize our spatial cognition skills for effective information visualization.